tired. So I got tired of sitting on the beach after, I don't know, three days in one spot, maybe four days in one spot, going in and out of town to get supplies and just living the beach life like a beach bum. But uh, kind of want to do some more riding, so I left all my gear back at the campsite. I'm gonna head into the mountains. One of my neighbors there, he's on a KTM 450. He's been coming down to Baja for 10 years. And he, every few days he gets on his 450 and travels or uh, does a bunch of trails, tries to connect different places by trail and then he'll pack up and start moving north and keep doing it all the way up the peninsula. So uh, talked to him and he told me about some trails that I'm not going to be able to do on my GS. So now I've decided that I'm going to go try them. <laughs> so stay tuned. We'll see, uh, we'll see what kind of trouble I can get into. Just need to uh, zip through a little part of uh, downtown Todos Santos. Beautiful little city, town. Most of it's like super touristy, mega expensive. Home of the Hotel California. I'm hoping that I can climb up over the mountains into this other little mountain town. Um, well, the place I'm going is El Valle Perdido. El Valle Perdido. Um, I want to go. I think there's like a church there. Maybe it's a ruin. Who knows? Uh, I didn't really do any research. I just picked it out on the map. So I want to go there. But then I want to go to. Another little town that I forget the name of, but it's on the number one. So we, we've been through it a couple times going from Los Perillas, through the mountains from Los Perillas to La Paz. And I'm hoping I can stop there for some tacos for lunch. Okay, that's my road. Now, won't be using the GPS. So I'm gonna go down that road, through all this desert bush, and then up into those mountains. Hell yeah. Let's go boy. Perfect. A little sandy, but it's not even loose. And then when I get into the mountains, it should be rocky. I just love the landscape in Baja. I love the ocean, and I love the desert. I love the cactus. The mountains.
is this someone's property? Oh. Okay, I'll go. Okay, so there was no gate on their property, but I think that just was someone's property. I don't know if I just went up their driveway for like 20 miles. It wasn't 20 miles, but. Okay, let's have a look, see. Okay, so I think I gotta, that was a dead end. That was someone's house. But it still looks like I'm in a park because there's a sign there. So I gotta go up that goat path up here. There we go, this is gonna get rough. Yeah, I'm no longer on freshly graded roads. Okay, it's really important that I don't go down anything that I don't think I can climb up. Because I don't want to get stuck out here tonight. Oof. Just a little lost the front there. But yeah, so far none of this looks too difficult to come back up. Mm. This definitely gets a little tricky. That was fun. rough and rocky now. Okay, I feel like we've climbed a ways and I'm starting to get towards the, like, I'm getting near the peaks of these mountains. And if I'm reading my map correctly, that's always a big maybe. But I might be reading my map correctly and I think there's just this one range that I need to go over and kind of drop down the other side a little bit and I'm back to civilization. 
San Antonio maybe or El Terrafino. People like I'm talking to new friends at the campsite and stuff and my buddy Jill there who's uh, he's from Quebec um, give me a hard time about my pronunciation my pronunciation is horrible I'm really trying to learn Spanish uh, every night I work on my Spanish and I got podcasts I do Duolingo uh, I speak Spanish as much as possible when I'm in restaurants uh, and getting food or whatever um, but I'm having a really hard time I had a I was telling Jill I had a really hard time learning English I could ride I could ride a two-wheel bicycle before I could talk Yeehaw! oh okay do I uh, there was a road there. I gotta figure out if I should take that. El Valle Perdido. Okay, if I make it there, I am gonna be so freaking stoked. It seriously looks like I'm almost there. <laughs> It is amazing. Um, the couple, I know it is authentic Mexican food because the couple that was on, at the stand spoke absolutely no English. It was difficult for me to order because my Spanish is so terrible and I didn't recognize, really recognize what was on the menu. They didn't have a menu. It was, you just go in there and you, you're supposed to know what you like and they make it and whatever right like it's not definitely wasn't for for um gringos that's for sure so um it was so delicious i got all the things they had it's like check it out they're like deep fried and filled with goodness almost like a pizza pocket um but yeah i, I grabbed everyone they had they're only like they're less than 20 pesos each, so I'm gonna bring some back to my friends at the campsite. I just love the cobblestone streets, so sweet. Good stop, dude. I think that was it. Didn't see a sign, but that looked like it went somewhere. Hotel California. How much it is to stay there tonight? Probably expensive. Okay, going for it. This is it. It's gotta be it. This guy doesn't know where he's going either. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Got it. This is the road I was looking for. There are several different ways that you can park your pork chop uh, when you're riding in sand dunes and on the beach. Uh, behind me you'll see one of my most commonly used methods uh, 
you simply ride as far as you can until you fall off. Uh, luckily I fell off eh, basically right at my campsite. Yeah, I just came in hot and set her down as soon as I touched the brakes. So, it's parked.